live broadcast one two three just testing to check things are working and no you are not seeing things I am back um, I'm trying to stream at least once a week during the times at the moment and um, here I am live but as always I need to try out a few things and you might notice today that we're actually not going to be playing any music the main reason is that I'm going to move this over to my YouTube channel to show people what I do on streams. Well, that's the plan anyway. And also show a bit of Football Manager as well. Um, normally on my YouTube streams I do recorded episodes and this is a... Um, yeah, I guess you can call this a recorded episode but it's recorded live. Um, so you will see me probably make some mistakes while I'm doing this and saying um a lot. But welcome everyone. Of course, I'm Mark Donut Doni. Um, I'm a massive Football Manager 20 fan. And um, I often stream on the Twitch channel. But today, obviously, well, we are, I'm streaming on Twitch as I'm, we're doing this right now. But it is going to be recorded onto my YouTube channel or moved over there for safekeeping, basically. So, but as always, when I do um, streams I have to test to see that everything is working fine so you have to excuse me for about a minute or two just to get s certain things working so um, normally I do this um, squeaky chair normally I do this um, before the stream starts but as I'm going live straight away um, I'm actually there's no intro music as there normally is on my streams because the general rule is if there's going to be some music then there's a good chance that it's going to be copyright infringed on YouTube so I'm taking no risks today and I'm just going to try and play the game without any music for a little while but I'm just testing out to see if things are working yeah you can hear me in the background there so that seems all right um, and today just to prove it is live today is the fifth of um, April 2020 of course the world is going through many changes everyone hopefully everyone's staying safe it doesn't help it's actually a lovely day out there today but um, yeah I'm staying at home as per guidelines and I'm hoping everyone is all right um, please excuse me as it's uh, half 12 and I don't know how long this uh, stream will go on for I'm actually eating my dinner at the same time BLT, really nice, really nice sandwich. Whoops, and straight away, as the sun comes out, you get flies stuck in your window. <laughs> oh, it's a wasp. So I'm just gonna save this wasp and let it go out the window. Come on, Mr. Waspy, don't, don't sting me. Are you out yet? Come on. He's still stuck in the window at the moment. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Mr. Wasp has gone. Ugh. So there you go, that's live. <laughs> so a couple of things I have to always test is the chat window to make sure things are working fine and I can see the chat on my phone so I just uh, press that that comes up automatically there you see the chat comes up on the screen as well so that's all good yeah that's good and obviously on football manager the it's the text of the chatting screen doesn't always come up well because you've got the graphics behind over the actual game but you can bear you can hopefully read it fine so you get that automatic chat window which appears on my twitch stream so basically when people start chatting away you can see what they're typing and you can I will make um, I can sometimes type on there as well so you get that happening all the time when the streams are going on um, above me you can see the fellow FM creators I'm part of the FM creators stream team um, lovely people 
they all do really good streams so it's worth checking them out as well to my right you'll see the social media screen coming up and that'll be throughout this whole stream that's all my uh, social media contacts so for instance uh, the one coming up right now is the FN creators bit of me on there um, when that moves you'll see my when it does move it will move in a minute you'll see the YouTube channel there goes there's my YouTube channel which you are probably watching you probably know that already because if you're watching this on YouTube that's where you went so and then that's my um, Twitter Twitter address so at donut Donny, you'll find me on there uh, very easy to spot and that's where I post when I'm going live on so on Twitter and YouTube sometimes and then uh, that's my Twitter account which is what I'm on right now streaming this so it's worth um, yeah checking things out especially check out my Twitter account if you're not a member yet if you're not following because that's when I do post um, when I go live and I'm eating a sandwich at the same time but yes I'm doing something different today I'm actually doing a live twitch stream right this moment for a couple of hours and then I will probably edit slightly so you might not see that um, beginning of the bit what happened and stuff like that um, and then move it over to my YouTube and then people hopefully come see what I actually do on these streams which is great fun the game we're doing today obviously is Football Manager 20 and this is the actual journeyman stream now those on my YouTube channel have already seen might have seen a introduction to the journeyman series which I explained what was going on what the complete history of the YouTube, this journeyman series is how I first started I first started unemployed no job whatsoever and I then um, I think I had to wait six months before I got my first job which was actually Finland I was in the Finland division top division side actually was a bit surprised but I didn't like it too much and I um, didn't survive I actually left before I got sacked and then I went unemployed again for another six months luckily a lot of this time um, he did not see me um, just going unemployed, finding jobs because it's not the greatest of streams. And I did this off offline until I actually found another job. And that job came up, and I was in Wales, Southern Druids, I think they were called. And I did really well. We actually won the league, and we won a few cups as well. And then I I thought I needed to move on from Wales, and I thought I was going to get a job straight away, and that didn't happen. I ended up also, I ended up getting an international job though for the first time I actually tried international football and I became Indonesian under 23 boss and I loved it we I tried different formations see if they were working and it gave me chance to experiment a bit and um, we actually won some cups um, and that's where you left off from the journeyman series I then I that was at Indonesian 23 and I was at this club here as you can see on the screen here the they're currently in Israel. We're currently doing very well top of the table. I can't actually pronounce my own team's name, which is <laughs> embarrassing. Um, but the big difference from the journeyman introduction, if you've seen it, and also um, you might have noticed here already, is uh, on if you look at the home bit, which is highlighted there on the screen, uh, just below the the badge, you see the two but two sort of like tabs there. The one that's highlighted, that's the club, and the next one is the country, if you're a manager of a uh, national side. And the difference between my journeyman introduction and now is that a couple of um, game weeks later, I actually got the Nigerian football team job. So I've actually got a big international job now. Luckily, no one live is actually watching me eat at the moment. <laughs> so, yes, I'm the Nigerian national side manager. I've only just started that job. So, let's go into the game a bit more now. So, I'm currently um, Beni Saka Hindu manager. And we're doing pretty well. Problem is, every time the game has a patch or something changes in the match engine, my winning formation then goes totally wrong. So I have to be in experimenting formations all the time, and I think I've found one that seems to be working. Um, but 
one thing I also notice about the Israeli league is they, they have a massive winter break, which I did off stream. And I'll show you what the winter break was. The winter break was actually the whole of November and most of December. Only one game was played, and that was actually New Year's Eve. So we had literally two months of no games whatsoever. So I didn't want to waste my time um, on a stream showing that. So I actually went in holiday mode for two months, which um, let the game just carry on as normal, and I didn't have to do much unless something really happens. And yeah, so I waited two months. So as you can see, we're doing pretty well in Israel at the moment. We've had a couple of defeats. Uh, most recent one against Maccabee Tel Aviv, who are one of the top sides in Israel. Um, our side is actually a very sort of like um, mid-table type Israeli side. Um, I never actually heard of them before I got the job. And, but we're a very small ground. We've only got about 6,000 capacity. 8,000, sorry. 8,500 capacity. We're based in Doha. And um, the club background... Uh, we're doing pretty well there. You can see A's, B's and C's. Uh, we're founded in 1992, so we're quite a new club. We're only 28 years old, and uh, which is quite new for a club. And we're playing home in what, uh, Red Strip, away in white. Um, so I'm in, I am enjoying the Israeli league. We've, we've got money in our bank, but it is going down all the time. Um, I do not know how long we'll stay in Israel though, If um, because on this game save, uh, the journeyman game save, if another club, a bigger club, wants me to be their manager, then I'll probably go for it. But whereabouts, I do not know, because I've only loaded certain leagues into this game save, and they do not include England or Spain. Um, originally, they did not include Germany and Italy either, um, but I actually put them in because... I was getting a little bit desperate in trying to find a job and so I thought right I better put some more bigger leagues in just in case and yeah I ended up in Israel so currently we got Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Germany, Holland, Iceland, Israel, Italy, Mexico, Norway, Portugal, Scotland, Serbia, South Africa, Sweden and Wales. Now eventually the Welsh one will be deleted because I've been in Wales already I've done them I wouldn't be going back just to help the computer performance a bit. You can see the game speed is actually quite slow at the moment because we've got all these leagues going on. But eventually when I get rid of some of these countries, um, so I'll probably actually do that right now. Um, so Wales is going to end in June 2023, so that will not appear there anymore. And that will hopefully, actually it's made the game speed even slower, surprisingly. Um, but eventually when that league goes, then the game speed will slightly increase a bit more, I think. Well, that's the plan anyway. But um, I will always look at the job market. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm quite happy with um, where I am at the moment. So I'm not looking for a new club. But this is where I applied for the Nigerian national job. And also I applied for the Ivory Coast. And to my surprise, I actually was headhunted by both clubs. Both clubs wanted me. So um, I didn't know where to go. So I just um, looked at the structure of both countries and I thought Nigeria had a bigger pool of players and I think they were higher ranked. I think they were 18th in the world in the game at the moment. So I just went there. I think Ivory Coast are, you no, know, my luck, they're going to be higher ranked than Nigeria now, aren't they? Um, does it say the official rank here? Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, they're 39th. So I did choose the right one. Um, Ivory Coast and 39th, Nigeria 18th, so I went to Nigeria. But there's some interesting clubs here that um, I could try going for again. I've never been in Holland, and Anderlecht could possibly be a good side to go to. Um, there's a game I play called Manager Sim, which is, you'll notice on the YouTube channel, they see a lot of those videos, and... I'm actually manager of Anderlecht in Manager Sim, so it'd be quite ironic that uh, I'll go to Anderlecht in the job. And this is new. I've never seen this actually happen, that they can actually have a breakdown of what the manager is doing at the moment. But their job is under threat, and they've got a remaining budget of 12 million. What is the rules in Holland, I wonder? Because this is one thing you have to do on the journeyman stream, is always check to see what the rules of that country is, because you might not like it, or... You 
quite can be some countries can be really strict some countries can be really flexible um must have at least six countries run the country for three years okay what about foreigners rule no trialist that's all right minimum eight players develop a nation for three years um can i see any foreigner rules here i don't actually oh, maximum foreign based players of the age of 20 allowed that loan oh loan okay um let's just look at their squad again one thing you'll note, Anderlecht are, I think, are eighth. They're, they're, they're mid-table. They're not doing too badly, actually. They've got Belgium, uh, Gambia, French, Spanish, an Englishman. Oh, Kimar Roof. I'm an Oxford United supporter. Kimar Roof used to play for Oxford. And Ghana, America, Ukraine. Yeah, various nations, actually. So I might. Highly unlikely I'll get it, though. But and I know I just said I'm settled in Israel. But... I will go for them. I won't declare an interest though because the board, the Israeli board, would not be happy about that. And also, we've got FC Eindhoven. I think they are the smaller version of PSV, if I'm right. Um, yes, they're worth 2.1 million. It's always good to compare what your club is worth compared to a newer club. Like we're 3.3 million, so that, for instance, my Israeli side are bigger than Eindhoven. Then you've got NEC. Uh, sponsored team obviously what's their value 6.5 million so they're actually a bigger club than my Israeli but they are in debt as you can see there so that's going to be a problem straight away well they've got a, a remaining season budget but they're in debt strange right eat my sandwich a bit more It's definitely a better team, but um, there are in debt. And then you've got even Queen of the South, based in good old little in Scotland. Haven't done the Scottish side yet, actually. Uh, One million. Uh, Scottish Championship. Um, professional side. Yeah. That'd be, no offence to any Queen of the South supporters out there, that'd be a bit of a downgrade for me. But I've applied for Anderlecht, but I probably will not get it. Oh. Interview process is over. So why is why is the job still there then? <laughs> that does not make sense. Or oh, maybe I caught it really late. Oh, okay, never mind. It was just a long shot anyway. But anyway, we got um, we're doing well in Israel. But the problem we got now is how the Israeli league is actually done. The league has got to end at the beginning of March, and we're at the end of January. So, and we've also qualified for another round of their equivalent of their FA Cup. So, we've got a lot of fixtures going to happen now. So, for instance, in the process of just um, in February, we've got a game on February the 4th, February the 8th, February the 11th, February the 15th, February the 18th, February the 21st, February the 23rd. Oh, crikey. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got nine games in February alone. So, that means um, my players are going to start suffering a bit. So what I have done is actually made my squad into two first teams. So this is first team one, the main side. And then I've got first team two, which is slight changes there. Basically to, so to stop um, tiredness of all my players. If that's going to work, I doubt it. <laughs> Again, the problem we've had in the recent couple of weeks in the game is that we've had quite a few patches. And again, each patch makes slight changes to your match engine. The match engine, of course, is where the game's being played. So when this happens, um, your winning formation might go slightly wrong and you start losing games. And it's happened to me plenty of times. I'm lucky that, though, we are currently top of the league, but we're just holding on. Of course, Maccabee Tel Aviv, the side who just recently beat us, by the way, um, are closing up on them fast. But we're, we're pulling further ahead of... Um, the other sides and we are 12 points clear from fifth that's the most important bit for us if we went into this season preview um if i just got to find it again season preview originally put us in eighth position so being second at the moment is amazing and of course if you look at the rules of the israeli league is that if we finish where we are we will go into the 
We will not go into the Champions League because only the top side goes into the Champions League. But we will go into the Europa Conference League second qualifying round. Which is where my Welsh side ended up uh, two seasons ago. And we sadly we didn't qualify. We got knocked out on the uh, qualifying rounds. But let's carry on. We've got our next game today against Sport Club Ashudu. Your 13th. Um, normally you would think we'll easily beat them because they are 13th and we're second, but we're top. But due to the match engine and due to other factors that Football Manager does to you, um, they could win that. The media keeps saying that, oh, we're the heaviest favourites. We are going to win this game quite easily, blah, blah, blah. But um, don't be too surprised in this stream that uh, our form suddenly goes a lot worse. Um, again, if we finish in the top five, I'm happy because we're meant to be finishing mid-table. That's where the board wants us to be. Of course, I'm scouting new talent all the time. But sadly, none of the, I'm trying to get as many really good Israeli players to play for our team. But most of the decent Israeli players have gone to um, have gone abroad because that's where the more money is, obviously. So I'm scouting, and a lot of the scout reports come up now with players who are not Israeli foreigner players. And due to the strict Israeli rules, I can only play five or six maybe foreign players in my match squad, and I've already got nearly all of them from um, when I joined this club. So I couldn't exactly terminate their contracts or terminate their loan deals because loan deals didn't let me know. And contracts not didn't let me either. But Maccabee Tel Aviv won 3-0 against Hapoel. So they are now back top of the table um, because they play their game at 3 o'clock. We're playing that game at 6 o'clock. So we're doing match preview. So Benin, Shaq, blah, 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 blah. We are heavy favourites, but again, this means nothing. We did beat them before. When we first met them earlier this season. So we're trying this formation. Again, this might work, this might not work. Um, I'm finding it difficult at the moment trying to find a winning formation. Eat my sandwich. Hey. Hey, mate. How you doing? Welcome. Sorry, I'm eating my sandwich. Eating my lunch. Again, um... No music today because I'm going to move this over to my YouTube channel just to show people on my YouTube channel what my streams are like. Um, so people will come in um, and chat as um, David just did there. And you'll hopefully see the screen coming up with his name saying hello, how are you doing? And again, I will try to reply to them as quickly as I can. Um, today it's quite easy because it's just me and David here. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's always nice to have company. How's the sandwich? The sandwich is very nice actually. It's a BLT. I'm doing a slightly... Um, my streams on Sundays are normally at 11, but it's slightly later today because of um, circumstances going on at the moment in my life. Um, but I wanted to do a stream today. I want to do at least one one a week to keep people saying that, hey, I'm still here. And also, yeah, it helps me get my mind off things. Yeah, it's a BLT, ba bacon, lettuce, tomato. We went down the wrong hole then. So here we go. We're playing um, the club currently in 13th. We're currently second. And um, again, this is quite a new formation because since the last game patch, none of my formations are working again. Um... I didn't know it was Sunday. You didn't know it was Sunday? It's Sunday, yes. Um, Sunday, 5th of October. So when I will post this on my YouTube, it will probably, probably will post this straight away, actually. So it'll be maybe the same day. So here's my Israeli squad. They are pretty decent. Um, but again, we are only meant to finish 8th in the league and we're currently 2nd. Um, we I brought some new players in. To especially this guy here, Prince, great name, Prince Ampem, who is a um, Ghana player. Not an international yet, but he has been watched by the Ghana manager. So he could be a future international. 
You've been off work for three weeks. Every day is a weekend day for me. Yeah. Yeah, I've been off week for about two weeks. And um, I think it's going to be a lot longer, isn't it? The way things are going at the moment. People being off. Um, yes, those who are watching this YouTube may be months and months ahead as, as, as today's date. Um, obviously, is the coronavirus thing that's affecting everyone in the world at the moment. So the UK is currently in lockdown semi-lockdown but I got to think it's going to be stricter after today because yeah I think everyone decides to go out not a good idea so yeah if you're watching this in the future this is why <laughs> it's why it's a bit strange world at the moment but anyway here's the side um, we've got a, really, a decent side not the best in Israel um, but we've got a lot of Israeli players the, the problem in this game is trying to find a good decent Israeli players because um, mostly when the scout reports are done they're all rated under 20 not very good so i'm hoping that uh, my new next lot of youth israeli players are going to be decent ish um that reminds me what my youth is like youth facilities are good so we might get some one or two decent youth players coming in actually that might become first team regulars body clock is ruined mum woke me up with food today only reason why i got up <laughs> all right <laughs> You've been busy on um, YouTube, though, with your City Skylines, haven't you, though? I've noticed. What's the new um, DLC like? Sorry, I'm bending my head down a bit because that's where the um, my phone is showing all the chat. So I'm not going to sleep or anything. Right, let's get this game sorted out. We're against the team currently in 13th. Um, normally... We should beat them, but we're trying a new formation, and also this is football manager. Anything can happen. If we lose this, then <laughs> I won't be too surprised. Again, we've got nine games going on in just this one month. The league has to end at the beginning of March, and it's the end of January, and we've still got nine games to go yet. Well, nine games this month to go up. Okay, their current their form is seventh, and where our form is first. Okay, so. They're not bad form actually, because I think there's a is it twelve teams in the Israeli top league. So let's see how we get on. Now we've got the classic two D view. Oop, and I just realised I've got the old offline speed. I don't when I go offline, do offline versions of this, I do not have the slow the normal stream speed. I normally do it very fast. Slightly faster, faster, very fast. Yeah, I normally do sort of like a little line there. If you can imagine a line going down there. That should be better then. And so we're in red. Sport club are in white. If goals are scored, you'll see them in normal um, screenshot. But I, I'm getting used to this 2D version, this old... Um, the old championship manager, football manager way of showing games. So free kick to us. Again, there's no music today, so you just have to put up with me talking, I'm afraid. Again, because I'm using this to I'm gonna move this over to YouTube when it ends. And there's a goal. Belzer. Our uh, backup defender has just scored, so obviously when a goal happens, you'll see um, a screen highlight. And also, I'm going to try and put my little um, flash flash events happening, I think I'll call them. Is it flash events? I forgot what I call them now. Yeah, I won't do that. There's no point putting the uh, flash event what a goal on now, because um, you've missed it. <laughs> but that was a good start. A good start for the um, club. I need to find out how you actually pronounce my side's name. Because at the moment I can't really call them it. Oh, that's two, and that's Feltzer again. Yes! Oh, it's offside. It's a goal! It's offside. Ugh, ugh, okay. So it could have been two. And there, there's the flash alert you've just seen, the water goal. Um just seen that sometimes that gets stuck though <laughs> you can't play 2d ah i'm getting used to 2d now 
DLC isn't great. It feels a bit rushed and mishmashed. Hopefully they are starting work on... Yeah. Yeah, they, they must be thinking about making City Skylines 2 now. Because, again, as you... I think you remember you saying City Skylines has been out for so many years now. That um, it's about time they had a... Um, a sequel and I'm looking forward to that sequel that sequel would be amazing I do like City Skylines I'm really trying to get used to it um, but I'm, I'm the old Sim City fan now oh it nearly was one all um, I did go back to playing Sim City actually for a little while and I still love it it should have been so much better though and City Skylines took all the good bits from Sim City and made and improved it but I have to Sim, I have to say that Sim City look-wise is much better looking than City Skylines. The graphics and all that are better. Well, this could be a goal. Oh, that's a good save. Kendall, the captain. Sport Club are putting a bit of pressure on us now. Again, we're playing so many games in one month. I, I'd be amazed if we actually survive and stay where we are in the league. So 1-0 up. We're doing alright, actually. We're doing alright. So back to um, the second half. Normally on, yeah, again, normally on the Twitch streams when you see these live, I will have music on in the background. Um, today is going to be, sorry, my phone's playing up. Today, ah, it's not working. Oh, and I just missed our second goal. <laughs> see if I can get that in. Yes. It's a goal! Um, today is just going to be a rarity because we're actually having no music. Again, because I'm putting this on YouTube. And again, because when we have music on YouTube, they normally cause you problems. So it's 2-0 to Benai. Benai, I suppose I have to call him Benai. I have to call him something. And uh, Kuprasak, uh, one of our foreign players, has got the second goal. And it was a really good goal. Well, I'm guessing it's a really good goal. You guys probably seen it. I completely missed it. <laughs> Because uh, I was checking on the phone. <laughs> uh, but could this be three? It's three. What a good start. Yes! I normally start streams it's with losing a game. And we're three and all up. So this is hopefully um, means our form's going to be all right. But So Ampen scored it. Oh, Ampen. Our Prince Ampen, our Ghanaian forward, scored. Five years. Oh, it's been out for five years. And they're considered top dog and back giant. So New Reese could make products a lot of money. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I don't see... Um, well, the company who made SimCity are uh, not around anymore anyway. So I wonder who's got the actual name SimCity. It'd be amazing if they do make a new SimCity to rival um, Skylines. Oh, yeah, without mods, Cities... Yeah, yeah, without mods, City Skylines appearance wise is okay it's not brilliant sim city looked amazing though oh goodbye they've got a player sent off sim city yeah sim city appearance wise is so much better than skylines but skylines as a game is so much better than sim city <laughs> so let's make some substitutes as i normally do around 60 odd minutes uh put claim on ah i've got some we've got a player injured actually he's not been taken off yet though Okay, so he has to come off in case the injury's bad. Uh, we'll put Kamai there. Let's confirm. No point going attacking. We're 3-0 up anyway. We're basically dominating them. So actually, this is... Actually, I thought Magic is actually being kind for us today. This is actually what a top league side should be doing against someone near the bottom of the league. Oh, they're 13, so there's actually 14 teams in as well. So yeah, I'll stay in Israel for a bit longer, I think. And then I like to move around in German series until I find a really big club and then probably stay there. EA owns some city still, so it's... Oh, EA. <laughs> EA. Yeah. Less said about them, the better. Well, they've done some good games, EA, but not... Yeah. So we're currently 3-0 up against Sport Club. 
and it looks like we're going to have a victory here, good victory, which means we'll be going back up to the top of the table. Jaber, come on Jaber. Uh, we've had 25 shots there, 9. We've had 3 clear cut chances, so that's not bad. So luckily on this formation, this this game's been worked to our advantage. But it's not all going to be like this. Again, this team were 12th in the league. They were second to bottom. Third to bottom, even. But that was a good win. Good win. Makes a nice change to actually have a decent win, especially when you're on stream. Because as always on stream, you're <laughs> the game kind of thinks you're on stream, thinking, oh, okay, you were doing well, now you're going to do badly. So we go back top then, um, but we do lose, oh, five weeks. That's a bad injury. Never mind. We have got um, cover, thankfully, in that position. So just one game left today. In Well, not here, not on the stream. I mean one game of the actual game date left. And Jerusalem won 3-1, which yeah, is quite tight between third and sixth at the moment. Um, and we're pulling ahead of third, which is good. So, okay. Uh, the, let's just put it this Games are not going to be as easy as that one. Um, it looks like Brian has missed the quarterfinal. Oh, God, yeah, he is. It, it's, a it's not great news, is it? Yeah, it's... it's Disappointing, very disappointing. Okay. Don't need disappointing, yes. An offer for out contract offer. Yeah, these are foreign players. That's one yeah, that's one thing um I got slightly against being in the Israeli league is that we're limited to five or six foreign players and that's it. And the the pool of Israeli players you can buy it. they're generally very poor um, like I've scouted at least a couple of hundred Israeli players now and I've never seen a really good one out there at the moment I've only seen about um, yeah you get these scout rating systems on Football Manager for range from 0 to 100 and most of the Israeli players I've scouted have been from 18 right up to 64 or something and I only go normally for players 70 plus um, I even looked at the national squads and all the Israeli players <laughs> are still not brilliant if they were really good the really good Israeli players have gone and played in other countries which makes sense because they get more money but I'm still scouting and of course I'm now getting reports about my Nigerian players because I am the Nigerian manager as well. So we're getting a mixture of uh, club and country here. Uh, you can see here that um, there's the dates. We're going to have a really good full month looks like it. Semi-form deserves Nigerian. Semi-form is really not going to... He's 30 years old. Nah, he's not. He's okay. He's worth three million, but he's a striker. But to be honest, I really would go. For, I want to go for a younger striker for Nigeria, someone who will be with us for quite a while. Okay, so this is the match against Jerusalem. Um, this will be the quarterfinal leg one, and again, we're now starting to get rumours of takeover and takeovers, which means we could get a lot of money coming in, which would be great. But also in takeovers, um, you could lose your job. <laughs> but I had rumours for in my lower league management saver, RF Benson, uh, RF Benson, sorry, AFC Benson, that um, there was going to be a takeover bid, and that was two seasons ago, and it never happened. Oh, I've got another injury. Four to five weeks again. Oh, jeez, we're getting a lot of injuries again. Um, Ah, okay. This is not so bad. This is the player we, who's listed, transfer listed, and um, we don't play him much at all. So that's not a, really a blow. Okay, more players that are not good enough for us. 
45, 28. Scouting meeting. Now, four players left. 18 year old Brazilian winger. We'll scout him, even though it's highly unlikely he will um, play for us because of the permit rule as well. Ollie Lee, Englishman, who's playing in our brave in Scotland. He, well, with no scouting yet, so we need to scout him, scout this German player, and scout this South Korean, 78. Funny name for a South Korean because it's oh no he's in South Korea that makes more sense oh no he's a, he's South Korean Roberto Moscato that does not sound South Korean does that mean he's a dual national yeah I thought so he's Brazilian South Korean and he's already had thirteen caps and one goal for South Korea ah yeah he's a South Korean international and he actually looks pretty decent um. Which means he's got regular caps, which means he will fit the work permit rule. Play count stores match and first team total eight. Yeah. Slight interest. It's definitely worth adding him um which I think it just didn't work there. No, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I've I s acknowledged it, so we'll still have him around. Trying to plan roads is the worst in CS, yes. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm trying to get the right road for you. It's quite it can be quite tricky. So first leg of the um Givia Hamidana quarterfinal, which I'm guessing is their FA Cup. Of course in this uh, Israeli league we've only got two divisions, so we haven't got that many sides. And then I'm guessing we've got a lot of uh, non-league sides in this as well. So I'm going to see what level the fitness are of the players. Because we have got a game coming up on Saturday as well. Um, being in the cup really does not help. Okay, the free transfer deadline is coming up. We Should we take part or not? Um, let's see what the player search we've got. The only players we could get are um, expired players. Um, not expired players. Yeah, expired. Sorry, it is expired players. Um, okay, so we can only the only players that can play for us are Israeli players who got. Um, so I have to put the search engine. They have to be nationality because our foreign, the amount of foreigners we got is at our. Um, capacity already so I need to look nationality is South African no Israeli so there should be a few yes there is between 15 and 25 maybe slightly younger players because then they can stay with us for a lot longer so we got Ethan Ratson are these all expired players let's look at these stats um, I can't normally I would scout all these players first before even buying them but the problem is the deadline date is today. So we really need to, um, well, we have to take a risk basically of hoping that they are pretty decent. Because if you get a player who's not really decent, then the board will say, why did you buy him? He's not worth it. Now this guy, is this conscious? Hold on, this is Defence Centre. This guy sounds to me like this guy's on the contract. It's not listed. Exp yeah, contract status is expired. So why is he on this list? Um, what's his wage? Let's look at his wage. Is his wage on here? Because he looks really good, actually. He is a former under-21 Israeli defender. Hey, Cookie, how you doing? Yeah, so I don't know why his is it's, it's, it's yeah five hundred fifty five. This does not make sense. So this guy should not be on this list. Contract is expired. Any 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 expired, Israeli. So why is he on this list? Because we can't offer him a contract. Hmm, strange. If anyone figure out. Why? 
let's look, let's just do his contract offer. His contract, um, contract info. When is it due? Started on the 17th, 2020. It's, it has expired. So if it's expired, I can make a, I can make a track, I can make a offer. I can't, what, his trans, ugh, I'm confused here. <laughs> contract can we just make, go in and offer him a contract or does it not work out like that um, let's make inquiry anyway because his is his contract has expired so he should not be on this he should be on this list but when you make a bid for him you still have to pay the transfer fee how's the Israeli league going uh yeah it's going all right we're doing better than I hope, but again, there's been a recent patch, so um, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how we do. Um, and also, we've got nine games in one month, which is a lot. Yeah, a lot of these players have got contracts already, so I don't know why. Um, contract status is expired. So let's just try change something else. Unattached. Unattached. Now unattached means these should all be free transfers now. Yeah, they are this time. That makes sense. Great, I'm scared to play now. I was top of League Two in January on back to back promotions. Yeah. Yeah, there's been small match engine changes and I've heard people's formations. Some people's formations have been fine. Others have been affected, and I'm one of the others. <laughs> I've been struggling, but I'm still second in the league because I've been experimenting with various formations at the moment. And as we just seen in the last game, that one kind of worked all right. Oh yeah, one thing, Cookies, that I'm now Nigerian football team manager in this game. I got promoted from Indonesian to 23s to Nigerian manager. So that's a bit of a jump up. I uh, haven't played any games for Nigeria yet. Because uh, I've only just become their manager. But yeah, they're ranked 18th in the world. So um, that was a good little thing to have. I'm trying to look for... There's no real decent players here. I'm looking for stats. Like stats going along totally. Like he's got some interesting ones. He's twenty five. He's six foot two. Oh, we don't. We're all right for strikers, actually, to be honest. Again, we look. We have to look now because it's transfer free deadline day is today. So um, this is the last chance this season I will get to buy any new players. And finances wise, we can't buy players who have got fees. It's got to be free transfers only. And finance-wise, we're doing really well. Uh, well, not amazingly well. We've got 139,000 in the bank. Our wage budget is well below. So that's good. But again, because our ground's only 8,000 people, we are not making much money. Fingers crossed, mine's good. Last one took a few tweaks to sort it out again. Yeah, you probably only need one or two few tweaks. You don't need to do much. I'm not going to take part in the deadline day because we are not featured in it. I, um, I've got quite a few players already still listed. Um, in my, I think it's my youth sides. My under 19s. I'm still trying to get rid of quite a few players and loan the list of players. But yeah, this is probably one of the transfer windows. I really don't need to do much. Um, there's no real decent Israeli free transfer, sadly. Um, so I'm going to say no. Normally I do feature in it a lot, um, but today I think there's no point. Uh, so arrivals now into the quarterfinal, first leg of the cup. Um, what did the board want us to do in this cup, actually? Um, because they didn't want us to do too badly, then I might to try to cut down on our fixtures here. 
we'll wait and see. Registration window. Ah, okay, can we start, oh, can we confirm these guys coming into our game? We currently have six vacant spaces. It's, um, it's, okay, squad registration, auto select. Can I get all of them in now? Maximum of six foreign players. Oh God, I have to get rid of a foreigner to put another foreigner in, which doesn't help, especially if all my foreigners are actually playing games. It would have been handy to have Busnik in our side. He's on loan, and Brendan, the Norwegian. Um, I don't think I can take any more foreign players out because they're, again, they're all being slots have been used already. Yeah, I can only select out, not in. Um, eventually I'll be using, like Kriposhek, our goal scorer is actually a lonely, so he'll eventually go. Soldo, he's been sold, so he's going. And, um, yeah, Drednik is going to be free transferred eventually, so he'll go. He's a, a currently away on loan. So we will have room for, say, another three more foreign players next season. Um... No, I can't put him in. Why can't I put you in? You're not you're not a foreigner. Okay. Six foreigners, forty five, forty, yeah, we're fine. You're currently at six I have this way around your thing your first team's are squadron rules for a competition. Confirm selection. I doubt that let them play. I'll be very surprised if it does. And then some transfer news. Of course, it's transfer day today, so all these players were actually listed. Uh, scout on my shortlist. Oh, we've got an Israeli player, 18. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> not good. This this is my only just for football this weekend. Well, yeah, of course, of course it is. How long is this lockdown going on for? That's the big question. Personally, I think it's going to be like this until the end of May, at least. Um, it's not gonna. They're not gonna relax things. What does chat think? We won't talk much about politics because, um, oh, this guy would be really good for us. Eighty-seven, really good there. So he is currently rated third best striker. Only third best striker. Oh, okay. Not surprised. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, okay, Tel Aviv are now after one of our... The problem we've got is with, we, we're we selling quite a few of our top players because we have to. Um, and also it's one of our visions that we have to sign players to sell for a profit. Oh yeah, who we got? The, the cup, cup. Reach quarterfinal. We're in the quarterfinal. Okay, so if we lose, they're not going to be getting at me. So, so... Defender Solomo. Why don't I not recognise Solomo too much? Does that mean we're not playing them too often? Solomo, where are you? Solomo, Solomo. Sorry, I'm trying to look for the player we're trying to sell. Um, I can't find him. Am I going bonkers here, chat? Why can't I find my player? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, wait a minute. Is that Tel Aviv? What's going on here? Tel Aviv want a deal starting... Oh! Uh -huh. It's me going for him, not them going... Ugh. They want 1.1 million for him. No. <laughs> He's just about to be... Ex His contract is just about expired, and then you want 1.1 million for him. When the vaccine's ready, we will be back to normal. Early reports are just testing the vaccine will be ready for the new year. We won't be able to go back to life until they have some trial class. It'll be yeah, at least. The next review is April 16th, and i got a feeling the next the, when the review happens on April 16th, it's going to be extended lockdown. Um, and 
until maybe April the 30th, like what the Football League are doing in the UK. And then from April the 30th, it's going to be an, a month. If you see how we're behind Italy and Spain still, and they're still in lockdown, and they're, what, two weeks ahead of us? So i got a feeling our lockdown is going to be a while yet. And if that's the case, then I probably won't be back to work until June, um, like a lot of people. Lockdown makes it a lot worse because of my current family situation as well. Doesn't help. But I still heavy restrictions. I don't think they're going to relax the rules, Cookie. I don't think they're going to relax it a bit. I think they're actually going to get stricter, personally, because people are still going out now. I think people are still going out today, especially the weather's really nice. I think they're going to keep the restrictions as they are at least by the end of April. So, I don't think they're going to react if the cases are still, they're still spreading and there's still sadly deaths. I think that's until the, um, like for instance in Spain, they're actually, I think they've reached their peak um, with sadly a lot of deaths happening every day. But they are still locked down, total lockdown for another two more weeks. They've just extended it by another two more weeks and we haven't even reached our peak yet and that's not gonna happen for another week. So it kind of makes sense that it's definitely gonna happen until the end of this month. That's, I think that's a definite must. And I got a feeling, what well, didn't they say about two weeks ago, it was about 11, 12 weeks, we could last these lockdown situations, so. The Londoners who went to the park will be the final warning, yeah. I think because a lot of people have stupidly ignored it and gone to the park sunbathing and stuff like that, they do not know what actual social distancing actually means. And because of people like that are doing that, um, we're going to be, I think that we could see much stricter, stricter lockdown rules for the next couple of um, weeks. It doesn't help anyone, does it? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think I think definitely end of April. Um, that's an almost certainty, and then also I think it could even be another four weeks after that until something happens. They might relax some rules, but I don't think they're going to relax it very much. But they won't relax anything until the end of um, end of April, maybe and even longer than that. Things won't be totally normal for six, seven, eight months. Not great, but have to be done. Okay, and I'm just scouting all these lovely players who are just not worthy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there's no one. These are the top signings then. So uh, next top base, biggest player has gone abroad to Belgium. Uh, and yeah, what? two have gone abroad, one has stayed here. So most of the top Israeli players play abroad, which kind of makes sense. Well, you're in the catering industry, and that'll be the last industry to go back online. Yeah. Yeah. So we're in the cup. Things won't be back to normal for a good couple of weeks yet. But normal won't go back to normal for a couple of months yet. Um, so, let's look how fit the players are. We've got some who are pretty unfit, actually. Chervio is 77%. You can't really play him. So we need to put someone who is uh, fitter. We've got, a, of course, we've got an injury there. So that's our reliable backup. Um, but we've got a 77 fitness and we've got an 83 fitness. So those two will have to be sorted out. So Chevru, who's our one of our star players, he needs to be rested. So I think I put Bashir in, and then um, who's the 83? Gratius. Ah, we got. Yeah, he's got a good backup in Mir. Mir's really good. So that's good. Again, I'm not too fussed about this cup. The board want us to be um, in the quarterfinals, and we are in the quarterfinals. So I won't be too fussed if we lose this. Of course, I'll be a little bit upset because I want us to win every game we can. Uh, okay, we've got to take him out eventually. Brendan, can we put Brendan inside? Oh, is he is he now registered? Oh, he is. Yes. 
So Brandon, our Norwegian player, can actually come in now because he was unregistered. Um, so I need to replace a tackle midfielder. Have we got any tackle midfielders? I can. Day is still injured. Yeah, damn, is still injured. Uh, Meska. Oh, Abras can play, but he's just he's got a suspension. That's why I'm trying not to risk him. Not a bad team. Not a bad team. Uh, so against this Jerusalem sign, who are meant to be our rivals. So I actually did not know much about Israeli football. I don't know if we're actually based in Jerusalem. but I No, I think we're based in Doha. D-O-H-A. Here we go then. Game two of today. Oh, tunnel interview. Oh, I hate tunnel interviews. Can I get someone else to do it? Yeah. <laughs> go away. Oh, I pressed no comment. <laughs> I was meant to press send assistant. Uh, sorry, I was being a bit... Um, Nasty there. So we're in red again. They are in yellow. 2D again. Again, I'm not too fast if we uh, get knocked out in the cup because we only meant to get to the quarterfinals and we are in the quarterfinals. So the board <coughs> will not be disappointed for us to... Um, oh, well done, Brendan, getting your booking. Come on, I'm done. Nah. Do I listen to the TIFO football? No, I don't. What's that all about? David, Kovrasek, Ampran, Brendan, Norwegian. Oh, good save. No, don't get sent off, Brendan, on your league debut, I think it is, because I know you've played a couple of cup games. Mia. Bashir, Jabba, Bashir, Kubasak, David, Brendan, oh, hit the post, <laughs> crossbar. Ah! <laughs> it's a good team move, and now a counter attack by Jerusalem. It's going to be. Oh, sometimes counter attacks go into goals, don't they? So, corner them. Back to Alves. This is Drew, good one two there by Jerusalem. This is good team play, a good save by Kendall. Well, good save by our skipper. Free kick then. Soldo. Oh, it's a good save. Good save by their keeper. He's having a good game. Oh, he's only 20 minutes gone. Jaber. Feltzer. Jaber. No, it's Bashir, sorry. Angra. Our striker. What's our striker doing right up there? Mia. Brendan. Mia. Oh, it's another save. I've got a feeling we're going to be FM'd here. Good performance by the um, the lads in red so far. But it's still nil-nil. Anything can happen in this game. Football is a funny game. <laughs> yeah, tell me more about the podcast, by the way. Jaber. Jaber. Bashir. Ben David. In the box, I cross the ball to Amber. Oh, it's a scramble. And we fail to score. Our striker takes the corner. I might have to change that. Our striker is not meant to be taking corners, especially as he's the only striker we've got up there. Why is he taking corners? Oh, and a counter attack by Jerusalem. It's for the neutral, this is a really good game. For me, it's bloody nerve wracking. This is Asano. Mir stops him. Oh, could this be the first goal? No. Headed over there for Jerusalem. Another highlight for Jerusalem. Alves. Uh, can't pronounce your name. Sagra. Alves. Geiging with Zed. <laughs> Back to their goalie. Back to Ralph. Come on. Press them. Press them. Make them, in make them get a mistake. That's it. Prince shoots, score! No scores, offside. That was good press and movement by the um, our lads in red, though. But it's again, this game's going to anywhere. But this is remember, this is only the first leg. So Prince now on the ball. Prince Abim. 
And it's a goal. And it's a goal to our Norwegian player. His first goal for the club. Assist by the Prince. Purple rain. <laughs> this is how it happened. Brendan. That was a good left shot goal, actually. It's a podcast sponsored by Athletic, by the Athletic. Really good podcast. It's a bit more about analytics and in-depth stuff. Looking at club finances and more. This episode I'm trying to find talks about Israeli football. Oh, okay. Interesting. Israeli football one. So we've taken, in theory, we've taken the away goal here. Because this is a two-leg quarter-final. And to be honest, they're actually doing really well. So let's just look at our players. And I'm looking at fitness levels because we have got a game coming up on Saturday. So around 70, 65, 70 minutes, I will make some changes. Um, because that's what we've got to do now. For instance, uh, we've got a really good backup striker here in Kalari. So he's going to be coming on instead of Prince probably. Unless we got someone injured, or we get a booking, or we get someone sending off. Like Ben Ari is a really good lonely defender brought in to help um, these guys out. Like Feltzer will probably be taken off because he's booked and he's likely to be sent off. <laughs> so second half then. Sakari. Corner to Jerusalem, to the guys in yellow. Zagari takes it, headed out by our side. Benai. Benai? I need, I've really been interested to know how you actually pronounce our side. Benai? I can't... I'm guessing it's going to be pretty difficult to say. Jabir. Oh, Jabir tried his luck there. Approaching 60 minutes then, it's still 1-0 to Benai. But could it be 1-all? We'll have a look. Alves. Oh, good cross. Good ball there by Alves. Oh, this is tight. Oh, good save by our goalie. By the captain. This is going to be... I've got a thing we might concede here. Jabir. Mia. Passes to Brendan, the Norwegian. Ampran, Prince Ambra, the Ghanaian. Oh, just shot wide. Corner to Benai. Listen to the Football Daily podcast. Listening? Are you listening? Or do you mean, should I listen to the Daily podcast? <laughs> uh, Vanira. Kinder. Kinder surprise. Oh, it's a goal. Yeah, I thought it was going to come. One all. Damn it. It was obvious that was coming. Episode from the 19th journey to use Uni Levy, a Middle Eastern football journalist. Talks about Israeli Palestine. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll try to find that. So it's one all then, which is not. Well, we should have been further ahead, but um, we have got the away goal. That's the important thing. Right, let's make some changes. Oh, you listen to it. Yeah, daily podcast. Oh. I might have to listen to that. If you've got any links to it, guys. Well, I'll put Kamai on instead of Prince. Uh, Feltzer is going to be taken off. Put Ben Arena Loney in. And Brendan could be booked. So I'll put Albaz in. So luckily we've got good bench to replace these guys. So we're staying. I'm not going to put attacking on because I do not want to risk us conceding another goal, even though it won't be the end of the world if we do concede another goal. Um, if we concede two, for instance, then it would get a bit desperate. If we keep it at 1-1 or if we actually win this, then I'd be happy. If we lose it, then we're yeah, slightly unlucky we lost it. Elbez then takes a free kick straight to their goalie. So we're approaching the end of the game. So this might be one of the final highlights. Albers. Oh. Good save. We it's rattled the crossbow. We've actually been very unlucky. Um Thanks for the link. We're, we're actually been really unlucky in this game to not win it, to be honest. Albers. No, he misses it. 
Oh, that's a bit of a defensive blunder there, but Soldo's got it. No, this is getting... Just kick the ball out of the pitch, guys. <laughs> the referee's going to blow the whistle any minute now. Any second now, even. Yeah, thanks for the link, by the way. 1-0. One 1-0 -all. One was not bad, actually. We got the away goal. Yeah, I actually agree with the um, assistant manager for a change. I actually did well there. Hold on. Why is that side blanked? This is a one leg. This is first leg. You should not be greyed out. Oh, you're greyed out because... No, you should not be greyed out. This is only a first leg. So you should be um, white, shouldn't you? You only lost the first leg 1-0. So why are you greyed out? You haven't been knocked out yet. Hmm. I think that's a database error here. But Brendan did well. Brendan did well, actually. Um, I'm pleased with him. Our Norwegian player. I got him, basically. I bought him and used one of my foreign... Because uh, I only allow five or six foreigners. It's because he can play in multiple positions. So he's very useful. Um, oh, they're enjoying life with me. Nice. Uh, 16 victories of 20 games. Yeah, crikey. Uh, great, generally positive re reaction to Daniel Pritchard late optimism for the future. I don't think we're going to win the title. That's uh, kind of uh, hoping that we might do well. I'm aiming for... Yeah, I've got a squeaky chair, by the way. We're aiming for a top... Well, we're... Pre-season, we were meant to be 8th, and we're first and second at the moment, so I'm hoping we finish in the top 3, maybe. Transfer deadline's passed. Um, squad registration. I don't think I can register these players. We've done this already. Yeah. If I clear selection. Oops. Auto select. There you go. They're all back in. It's Prince in there actually, because there's only there used to be three down here. There's now two down here. Oh, never mind. Confirm selection. Yeah, these two are not playing anyway that much anyway. Oh, this guy's is Israeli, so why is he not being um, registered? Uh, it's, I think it's too late to register him now anyway. On uh, yeah, Israeli rules are a bit odd. Well, odd for uh, Englishmen anyway. Right, we'll do the stream for an hour and a half today, and then I might come later doing a completely different game. Um, again, I'm only I'm doing a few mini streams because of various reasons going on in my life at the moment. So I wanted to do a stream today just to say hello to everyone and to you know tell you I'm still alive. Oh, why are you unhappy? Strengthen the, how can I strengthen the first team when there's no decent Israeli players out there? You're not going to have to chuck them out of one. I'm not intention letting you leave. You're just going to have to get on with your job. No, I don't want to leave him. Hey, Carl. How you doing, mate? You're right. Welcome. The atmosphere is great in the room. Why do you want to leave that behind? You're right. I'm silly to be asking. Yes, you are silly. Go back and do a recording contract. <laughs> Prince. Uh, bad joke. <laughs> Go and sing Purple Rain. Prince. I mean, he's a great striker. So let, I'm a good manager. You're a great striker. Stick with scoring goals, not telling me how to do my job. Yeah, I need to listen to the podcast, actually. Um, I haven't listened to it yet. Cookie, all these guys, um, Carl especially, he's in the FM Creators group, the school group, really good group of um, football manager people. Top blokes, all of them. 
Aha, A+, plus, my manager review. That's not bad, is it, A+. Plus? Oh, it's always great to pop in and say hello. It's always good. Let me know when you want me for the next uh, podcast, by the way. I'm still, despite what's been going on in my real life, I still want to do it. It'd be good, actually, get my mind off things. I definitely need to be distracted at the moment. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, we can't get him yet. Oh, he would be... If Soldo went, he would have been... Well, Soldo's going, but not until July. Um, oh, 230k. Wait a minute. Oh, that's compensation. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Signing would go against the rule. Yeah, we can't sign because we've got too many foreigners. 119s are still doing really well. That's great to see. End of this month. Oh, okay, cool. That'd be cool. I'm in end of this month. Oh, looking forward to it then. I can give you all my... <laughs> I'm going to sound old now. 30-year experience of football manager. <laughs> Near enough 30 years. I did play the original championship manager all those years ago. But, welcome everyone. Again, this is the Israeli League, and again, we're not having music on today because we are going to, um, I'm going to move this over to my YouTube channel eventually, so people on my YouTube channel can see what we do on, on live streams. So normally on my streams, again, I would have music going on in the background, so you just would not hear me and my computer making a noise. You will hear some, some sort of music. Um... But again, due to YouTube rules, I if I had the normal music on and I moved it over to YouTube, it would probably copyright hit or something. So I can't risk that today. So I'm afraid, guys, you just have to pick with me waffling on about things. Uh, take the chat off the screen. Yeah, the problem is the chat's on the screen for the YouTube channel. Um, so basically, when I move that over to the YouTube channel, people can see what people have been saying. Um, but yeah, on normal streams, then yeah, makes sense actually to turn the chat off because you, everyone can actually see what everyone's saying already anyway. But a lot of the a lot of my streams on my Twitch, I do move over to YouTube. And it looked a bit odd if I'm talking to people, responding to questions, when you don't see this question on the screen. So, yeah, generally, yeah, it's a good idea, Carl. I, I definitely, yeah, if this wasn't a, if maybe I could turn a chat off on the Foot Manager streams on Twitch. Because generally they all don't go over to YouTube. But because this one is going over to YouTube, I want to keep the chat window on there. Um... But yeah, yeah, I see what you mean by the other Football Manager streams, which I won't go over to YouTube. I could turn the chat off the screen, you're right. But for other games that I move over to YouTube, and this just this stream today, I'm keeping it on. But yeah, yeah, it's a good suggestion. I totally agree. So, we're against... Now, if anyone can pronounce this team's name, well done. Natanya, 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 Modon. I'm going to just call him Modon. <laughs> the Israeli league's got some many amazing team names. Um, it's, nice. it's, it's actually a good experience being in Israel. It's, it's just something really different. But I cannot pronounce, I can't even pronounce my own team name. So this is going to be uh, Modon. Uh, we're back in the league, but um, again, uh, for people just joining us, we've got nine games in one month. Because <laughs> the league has to end in a month's time. I think it's then split in half, I think, and then we have the championship top. I think that's how it is. Um, if I look at the rules again, the structure, that's it. Um, no, not the structure, the rules. 
Yeah, I think we're split into stages. Are we, are we split? I think we're split into two um, halves. No, actually we're not. So it's only 26 games per season. Yay. That's why we have such a massive break. Like I had a two month holiday break. So I actually went on holiday mode because I couldn't be bothered to click, click, click for two months and nothing. I, I, I could have had some friendlies maybe. So against Modem next. Okay. Yeah, I called more than that, but I can't pronounce that name. Um, home, home advantage. Uh, our form's been alright, actually. This new formation kind of touch wood. I've probably said it and we'll probably lose 5 0 now. Um, yeah, this is the problem we've got with Israeli players. None of them are decent. I really want to buy some really good Israeli players, but. Um, oh, this guy's good. But they don't want to sell. Um, but this is this is rare, having an, someone over 70 and he's Israeli. Um, but of course, he's at one of the better clubs. That's probably one of the reasons I might eventually leave Israel because the limited amount of players I can actually buy. I can only have five, six foreigners in the, in the side and everyone else has to be Israeli. And most of the Israelis have gone off to uh, top leagues in Europe. Name a street after you on City Skylines. Kylex Avenue. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Not on City Skylines at the moment, but yes, I definitely bear that in mind. So against Modem, or Mordor, as I'm going to call them now. <laughs> uh, discard that one. Discard that one. 74, Israeli. Okay, this could potentially be a new signing. Oh, he would be our best goalie. Uh, 140k though. But definitely add him to our shortlist. That is quite rare. An Israeli over 70. Who looks actually pretty decent. And he's young. He's a youngster as well. Well I'm not on City Skylines at the moment. I'm playing Football Manager. So I can't actually put him in at the moment. But I definitely will put him in. Put Kylie. I know Davies. Davies could put that in. Because I know he plays Skylines more than me. Oh another Israeli. Oh, God, look how much he's worth, though. Yeah. Well, at least I'm getting some Israelis now into my scout report. 62, but oof, I haven't got much money. So, Benai against... Um, in our next game. And their, their actual real name is just that. Uh, their, shortened, their shortened name is Maccabi Netanya. So, against Mac Maccabi Netanya. Currently sixth on the table. We're currently second because Maccabi Tel Aviv must have um, won their game. Oh no, they haven't played yet. So what's the table then? Uh, do, 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 stages. Yeah, Maccabi Tel Aviv are top. 16 points. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're top by one point. Okay. But we've still got to win this game. So Maccabi Netanya against us. So here's our side. Um, let's see if I can get the FT1 back in. Oh, no. Bonham's still injured. Damn it. Um, 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 um. So it doesn't mean Elbaz have to be... No, Emirates was the one, wasn't he? There we go. And then I need to... Nadia's still injured. That's annoying. Um, I need to take a... Who did I put in? Oh, Brendan, wasn't it? But Brendan is a foreigner. as the, It should be all right, actually. Um, draw in 90%. That's all right. Yeah, okay. That seems all right. Oh, can I be registered to match? Where is Jeremy? I'm registered. What? You funny? Oh. How did you get unregistered? Did 
So the game, oh Bashir, sorry Bashir, you should be there. All right, does that work? Yes, it does. So we got our interesting stream. We actually got plenty of games today because of the tight schedule. So again, Maccabi Netanya Net Neta Nat yeah them. Um, <laughs> Net and net, net and yeah. The side in yellow. <laughs> so Benai, as I call them, our own side, we're in red again. They're in yellow. And the first shot goes nowhere. I really need to find out how to pronounce that squad. So we need to keep pressure on uh, Tel Aviv. They say they're top of the table. Oh, that was a bad defensive blunder by them, but we failed to score. Zong. Yellow card already to our top player, Shero, who's um, been headhunted by another, by Tel Aviv, actually. We said no, though. They gave us, they didn't give us much money. Jabir, Kavu, who's again booked. Jabir, Branches, corner to the guys in red. Jaber, Jaber shoots but got stopped. Albers, Charu. <laughs> Wish I could pronounce my players better. We dominate the game but no goals, so this could. I hope this is not going to be an FM game. Elbaz, still Elbaz. Good cross. Oh, it's the post. Maccabee are just holding on here. Faltzer. Elbaz. Crosses the ball into the box. No, he gets stopped. Ten shots. One clear chance. Um, ten minutes to half time. Two yellow cards to nil. <laughs> Should ask old lady, place on Twitter, she might be able to help you. Uh, help me to what again? Oh, pronounce the names. That's true. I wonder if she could. If she could actually tell me how you pronounce my team's name. <laughs> is, it he is it Hebrew in Israel? Is it? It's Hebrew, isn't it? The language. Right, we should be ahead, guys. So, how's the team looking? We got six point four for Cooper. Say he's not having the best of games. Um, but to be honest, none of them really are. He's the only one, and Prince is on six point five. Yeah, well, striker's not having a great game. Rossi is a linguist. She helps a load of guys when doing Swedish saves. Ah, I might ask her then. Oh, this is an early attack. Cabra. Finish. Is that his real name? Finish? Great name. Come on, Prince. Stop recording music. Sh score a goal. <laughs> Prince. I might have to change his nickname to Prince, actually. Cause his first name is Prince. So, oh, there he is. So I might have to do that in a minute. Because I keep calling him Prince. Oh, corner to Prince. Oh, just wide. Come on. We do not want BFM'd in this game. Oh, it's a goal to them. We are being FM'd. Oh, shit. This is being FM'd. If no one knows what being FM'd means, means you're dominating the game and then they score the goal. So, 
So it's 1-0 to Maccabee. This could not be what we wanted. <laughs> ben David. We definitely now need to um, get an equaliser. Yeah, I might have to give some of these nicknames. Actually, some of these names I can pronounce all right. Ben David crosses the ball to Krupashek. Emirates, no. This is getting a bit desperate now. We are 1 0 behind. We're in the game we dominated. Oh, and there's the equaliser. Is that a goal? Is that still a goal? Oh, it's been disallowed. Of course, it's been disallowed. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was. That is. Yeah, offside. Fair enough. So we do score and it's offside. <laughs> but look at this. We've had 21 shots there, three. And to be honest, all their three have been on target though. Prince is missed again. So it's, we have to make some... If we lose this, it's not the end of the world, but it'll feel like it. Uh, Bashir. Okay, that'll do. 70 minutes then. We've got 20 minutes of game left. And if we lose this, we are second on the table. We lose our top spot to Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv will be a point clear. 23 shots. 11 on target. And not one has gone in. Well, one has gone in, but that was disallowed. Oh, good save by Candle. It could have got a lot worse there. Come on, guys, don't ruin it now. Bashir, Kripasak, Jabir, Elbaz, Elkris, Elbaz, Jabir, Grunches, cross the ball in, that's it. Oh, nearly, nearly. We're doing everything, just not, it's just not going in. Jabir, oh, that's a cross. Kripasak, back into the box. Jabir, we're dominating this game. Oh, that's a terrible header. Bashir. Grunches. Nope. No. Grunches again. No, he loses it. Well, it was three on one, to be fair. Elbez, Jabir. Elmkres. Oh, it's just not going in. It's definitely been FM'd here. This is a prime example of how the game can be sometimes. You dominate in the game. You're doing everything right and they score. <laughs> This is going to be a bad defeat, I'm afraid. And it looks like it's heading that way as well. Yeah, four minutes to go. We are still losing 1-0. This is going to... I'm going to throw the book at them, at Team Talk, I'm afraid. We should not be losing this. We dominated the game, just not going in. So I will be aggressive team talk, I'm afraid. I'm not happy. There you go. We lose 1-0. I don't know how we lost that. I just do not know. This is an FM game. And this is an FM, typical FM result. I'm afraid at times. At times you get like this. You do everything right and you still lose. <laughs> so we've lost our top spot. We've still got a game in hand though. Uh, so in theory, it wasn't such a bad defeat because... We still got a game in hand, but we've lost our unbeaten record. Oh, and they were managerless as well. <gasps> oh, make it worse. Oh well, we we did do everything right in that game. It's just that nothing went in. We did not get any luck, and so that was a defeat, sadly. And also, when you do score sometimes, FM then just says, nah, it's disallowed. And to be fair, that game, it was it was a disallowed goal. It was clearly offside. Yep, I gave them a good talking to. I threw the book at them and everything else I could get my hands on. Under 20s. 
Nigerian under 20s, they seem to be doing well. I would love to take some of the Nigerian under 20s or 23 players to my Israeli side so I can lead them, you know, get them better for the national side. But again, that goes against my foreigner rules, sadly. So I won't be able to do that. Now, one thing we have to clear and eye is this points difference. We love to stay in Europe. So we're 10 points clear and we've got nine games in hand, nine games left now, but we've got one game in hand. So these shaded spaces here means they're in Europe. Top spot means your Champions League and then Europa qualifying group. No, Europa League qualifying first is these ones. Because Israel are quite low down in the UEFA points league for countries. So we only get one Champions League space. So we have to keep an eye on that. Again, we didn't deserve to lose that, to be honest. We did not deserve to lose that game. We dominated it. And we still lost. This just did not go in. And they had literally won. Well, their finishing was much better than our finishing, basically. So a lot of good youngsters. Um, youth players. Foreign players that could join us. But again, we have to get rid of what our existing ones are. Um... So, Maccabee Tel Aviv only drew against Sport Club. So, that helps us a bit, actually. That, that softens the blow a bit for us. And Maccabee Hafi, the club below us, actually dropped points. So, that's good news for us. That basically means that, because um, they dropped, oh, 94th minute as well. Wow. Um, we've got two games in hand now over Tel Aviv, and we're only three points behind. So, if we win both of them, we would go three points clear. If... Do you have rules? Welcome, Woodchip, by the way. Do you have rules? Um, for this journeyman series, no. <laughs> I do have rules for my other save. I've got a lower league management save, and those rules are quite strict that I don't leave the club no matter what. This one, I wanted a save that was a lot more relaxed, and this is the relaxed save. So this save means I can apply for international jobs if I want to, if I get them. And I would, if I get headhunted and I think the club are better, I will move. My only rule is I initially did not put in the five big European leagues. England, Spain, Germany, France, Italy. England, Spain, Germany, France, Italy. Yeah, five big leagues. Um, so I don't apply for any of those jobs. But as I got employed and I was months and months unemployed, I started putting in Italy and Germany because... I'd rather play the game than just watching the game without me playing it. So my, I suppose my only rule was not putting the big leagues in. So I started initially off with um, Luxembourg, Vatican City, Andorra, Finland. Yeah, I tried different leagues, completely different leagues, different places. And Israel was one of them as well eventually. Right, so here we go. Because they Tel Aviv dropped points, we've now got a chance to um, try to catch up here. Welcome, Woodchip, by the way. Hope you're well. Again, guys, um, I know I keep saying this. I normally have music on in the background. But today, no music because, oh, well done, Nigerian under-20s. You qualify for the World Cup. Well done. Um, I don't today because I'm going to move this over to my YouTube eventually. So people can see what the Journeyman series is all about. So here we go against them. <laughs> I can't even pronounce their name. Who's got the old, looks like the good old fashioned Arsenal strip actually. Red and white. And we're all in black. So let's look at the fitness levels of our players. All in the 90s still. Now... Oh, oh, I was going to change his name, wasn't I? Uh, Prince. Um, Prin, I'm just going to call you Prince. There you go. Much easier. Um, there's no real others I can change, actually, thinking about it. It's only him. 
Um, so let's see. The circle is now complete. When I left I you, don't want to drop Prince because he's actually I quite a decent striker. He did miss a lot of them though. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Woodchip. Much appreciated. Oh, that's one thing that's, I've just noticed that's missing off my... um. There you go, it's appeared. And Mr. Vader, Vader makes an appearance. Oh, sorry, it looks like my, I've actually got 121 and it says I've got 120, so I need to show Vader again. The there we go, now, now go up to 121, that's what it should you, be. I was but a now Only a good chance to see master. Vader again. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, mate, by the way. Where are you from? Who do you support? I'm guessing you're a football fan. All right, I'm still there. Hey, there's a shout out to you. Right, so we're against um, away against uh, beer, beer. Just call him beer. Easy enough. I just need to look at the time as well. Because if I do, I might do another stream soon but it, this won't be a football manager stream it might be rec fest actually but i'll need to sort that out oh pull up an upset so we're meant to be losing to losing to this side so how good are these side how good are they then can we select them no we can't at the moment so we're the underdogs in this game then there they are happily bella they finished last season in fourth. Okay. We finished eighth. Thanks, Davey. Thanks for popping in. Greatly appreciate it. Have a good walk with the dog. So we're in black. We're in black this time. They're in red. We normally play in red, but we're playing in our away strip. So we need to um, get our form back here. Oh, we were unlucky to lose our last game. But are we going to be? Is that was that the the sign of us struggling? I wonder. I hope not. We haven't had a shot on goal yet. This is not a good start. Oh, and it's hit the post. Yeah, it's just not turning to a good start. Definitely not at the moment. Um, I've got a feeling this is going to be a very hard game to watch. Five shots to none at the moment. We haven't had even one shot on goal. Six to none now. 25 minutes gone and we haven't had one shot on goal yet. Oh, we've had one. They've had seven. And this could be, to be honest, they should be ahead here. Okay, I need to demand more. Oh, there's Prince. Prince need demand more. Jaber, Alves. Oh, offside. Okay, seven shots to two. That's a good save by the skipper, Candel. Passes to Grunchus, passes back to Kendall. What's, what's he doing? He's taking his time there. Jaber, Prince. I can just call him Prince now. Oh, Prince got completely yeah, outfoxed by a lot of people there. Uh, Jay, they're definitely playing much better than us. Oh, God, if we can scrounge any result out of this, it'll be good because we're not going to win this. This is clear. We are, you know, straight in early stage. Oh, it's a penalty to them. Shit. Ah, uh, yeah. One nil to them. Well deserved. Yeah, well deserved. We are playing really badly in this game. 
you know straight away if you're if you're gonna have a good game or not by the first couple of highlights. If the first couple of highlights is all them and they dominate in shots and stuff, you know that you're not gonna have a good game. <laughs> Soto, Clario, Elbez. Uh, at least we had a shot on target, that makes a nice change. Oh, it's them again, no. Could this be 2-0 to them? No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was going to be another penalty then. Oh, come on, Prince. Get it. Come on, Prince. You can do it. No, 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 Rivers. Good save. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, it's two. Ah, uh, yay. Oh, it's disallowed. Yay! About time they had a goal disallowed. Oh, yeah, clearly. There he is. He's just there. Yeah, definitely offside. Well, I'm going to throw everything at them again this half. <laughs> it's There we go. One nil to them. So... Yeah, we had two games in hand, three points behind. If we lose this, then that advantage is gone. I'm pleased. No, I'm not pleased. Um, team talk now. I'm sure there's some players who are playing shit at the moment. 6.4, yeah. Jabir, or oh, yeah, Esquez, there's a lot of them playing badly here. Um... Kopyshek can actually play striker. Prince can play. How good is he at winger? I might try some different tactics here. Elbez is playing hopelessly. So let's drop Prince to an attacking midfielder. Because Kopyshek can play up front. And he's really good at up front as well. Uh, left back, uh, left midfielder. I can put Kalani in. Uh, he's not brilliant though, is he? What about Brendan? Just as no, nah, he's just not as good. Um, which is the fastest pace? Albert's is pace for twelve. Brendan is pace is thirteen, so he's slightly faster. We've got Command in here, who is pace is twelve, but he's no, nah, he's just a Backup of a backup of a backup. And Kalmar is pace 12. So Brendan is actually the best player on the left. Yeah, he's more more skills as well. All right, let's put you up there then. So we're changing. Prince would probably hate playing there, to be honest. Um, and J Bear is booked. So Bashir will come in for J Bear. J Bear is having a poor game anyway. Right, 1-0 down, we should be 2-0 down to be perfectly honest. I'm going to turn this up to attacking. Also, demand more. Good save. Sadly, it looks like a goalie is the only one playing really a good game at the moment. Kupishak, who's now up front. Passes down to Feltzer. Feltzer passes back down to Prince, who's now attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. Prince will take the corner. Alcrez, Brendan, who's on as a substitute. Joshua, who scored their goal. Gratius. Oh, bad pull. David. Eskris. Brendan, back on the left wing. Eskris passes to Bashir. Prince. Prince scores! Woo! Very good team goal, actually. And it was all to do with the new positions. Brendan, Eskres, Bashir came on. Prince, Kashyap. Well, good one, two there with Kupishak, actually. It was a really good goal. One all. That's more like it. His 10th goal of the season. Well done, Prince. I'll let you go and record some more music later. <laughs> Granchus takes the corner. Kupishak. Oh, that's a corner. So we're starting to put a little bit press, bit more pressure on them now. Oh, Feltzen. that was a, I think that was a backheader attempt at the goal. So at least um, we've come out fighting a bit in this half. 
Prince on the right wing. Oh, it was, it was still Prince. Look at this run by Prince. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Yes, it's a that goal. That was an amazing goal. This is Diego Maradona. Look at that. Oh, tripped up there. Bye-bye. Went past you. Bye-bye. And then thought, okay, there you go. <laughs> Probably one of the best games we've seen in a long time. And this is a guy who's not a natural mid attacking right midfielder. <laughs> so from 1-0 uh, down after 50 minutes, we're now 2-1 up. And our goalie, I would say our goalie is a man in the match at the moment. Oh, was that a penalty? Someone handballed. Oh, they handballed. Oh, and my goal alert is stuck. So I have to press it again. Yes! Oh, sorry. It's a goal! Sorry, I unstuck it. My goal flash. It's still got what a goal, as you can see on the screen there. And it's still not going. Sorry, guys. This is not meant to be like this. I'm just going to pause this for a second. Pause the game. It's still stuck. I'm trying something else now. No, it's still stuck. Okay, I will have to turn it off somehow. Sometimes these things have... Oh, the goal flash is finished. There you go. It finally turned itself off. <laughs> and now you've got some, a new one. Uh, don't, oh, okay, don't tell me now that's um, not stopping. What's up with my flashes today? Oh, God. Oh, you're hearing, you're hearing all these go alert things. Let's try something else. What a miss! Yeah, you can see there's two goal that? alerts, uh, two flashes now. The Spencer's killing me is stuck. It's not meant to be showing, so I need to. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I need to stop that. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Sometimes goal these flash alerts sometimes get a bit um, stuck. As we left it, with nine minutes left remaining, um, this will actually be the final game of the stream as well. Um, we're winning 2-1. Uh, with Somehow, with those tactical changes, has actually made the side better, oddly. And with now, shots-wise, we're much getting much better than them. So let's carry on. But it's still nine minutes of the game to go, so it, they could still score. Um, we could still score, obviously. Ben David takes the corner, throwing. David crosses the ball. Caro, no, it misses it. Our most skillful player kind of went a bit wrong there. Oh, it's going to be a goal. No, good save again by the goalie. Oh, it's two all. It's two all. Damn it. And that was all to do with our top player missing it right at the beginning. Oh, we had two on one. What did they do? They just let him cross. Why did you let him cross? It's a good goal. Two all. So, are we going to hold on now? Could they snatch a winner? Oh, no. Or could we snatch a winner? Now, Trevor, the guy whom... Prince. Prince. Oh, Prince. Purple rain, Prince. Purple rain. <laughs> Prince takes the free kick. Cheru. Crosses the ball and he still mucks it up. Cheru is weighted over a million pounds and he's not he's not acting like that. Oh, it's a corner. Corner to... This is a really good game for the neutral, actually. Soto, now the last chance. It's going to probably end 2 all for the final game of today's stream. Unless they score now. Come on, guys. Stop. Don't, no, don't, don't concede anything. That's it. Just kick the ball anywhere off, out of the pitch. That'll be fine. Throwing in to us, Ben David in our half still. Oh no, that's a terrible header. Two all, it ends two all. We were lucky after the first half, we were so awful. And then Prince, from an unusual position where he's in, he's actually scored two goals. So we actually did well to come back and uh, draw in that game, to be honest. They did really well in the second half. The first half, we were awful. But second half, we were, yeah, we were much better. Hmm, it's getting quite noisy outside. So what I'm going to do before I leave today, is I'm actually going to change the side of what they were doing. So Prince was there. Kubishak was there. Albers was up there. 
um, yeah. And Bashir was instead of Jabir. Uh, leave Jabir where he is. Oops, hold on. Jabir is, oh, he is a midfielder. Okay. That's it. Okay, I'll save that as is so I don't lose it. So what have we done today then? Uh, as it's approaching two hours, I'm going to... I normally stream, sometimes I very rarely stream longer than two hours on match and football manager. We look at this capitals, we've lost our top position. We've got two games in hand though over Maccabi Tel Aviv and we're five points behind them. Um, so if we win both games, we will actually go top the table by one point. Today we've played a few games. Um, we started off with a good win against uh, Sport Club 3 0, we then drew against Jerusalem 1 all. we then lost to Natalia 1 0, and then we drew against Shreva 2 2. So our last three games have not been the best. Uh, one was again in the cup, actually. Uh, we are, haven't won the league game now in two games. Again, this is due to the patch and the game engine changing again, which means formations will always be very unreliable. That's one thing about Football Manager, you do get a lot of patches. Um, oh, just notice here, oh, 9th of July, 23. No, we don't look at that. Let's look at that one. 18,000. So home ground, we have 3,000. Pasty half full. So hit and miss mix today. But anyway, this is what a um, a stream looks like then in Football Manager. And I do this at least once a week. Again, you'll notice when I go live because I make an announcement on my Twitch channel that I'm live. Uh, thanks to um, Woody Chip for your follow today. Greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks for everyone popping in. Davey, Cookie, uh, Carl. Thanks again, everyone. And um, I do not know when the next time I'll be doing a stream, um, hopefully very soon. But I will be moving this over to my YouTube channel so people can watch and hopefully more people can watch the stream. So thanks very much, everyone, for um, popping in. Again, I like to try to keep my Fort Major streams just to two hours um, unless I've got a lot more time. And I haven't really got a lot more time today. But I will might do a stream later, some game completely different. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks again.